And the award goes to, I'm not gonna tell you just yet, you're gonna have to wait. We're rolling out the superstar treatment for this year's 2017 Distinguished Entrepreneur Award in our community. Here with more is Amanda Stern, Marketing Director with FSBDC at Florida Gulf Coast uh, University, and also Judy Williams, owner of Spa to Salon and Day Spa. Good morning to you both. Good, Good morning. morning. I love what you are doing. Uh, we're gonna talk the details of this event coming up, but you're really giving uh, community members and business owners in the, in the community a chance to really celebrate all the hard work that they have put into it, right? Yes, that's exactly it. So this week is gonna be now National Small Business Week, mm -hmm. and so our organization likes to celebrate it the entire month. Yes. That's what we do. That's what we should do. Exactly, <laughs> and so we recognize three people in the community who are advocates and who are focused on technology and innovation and who've overcome ex substantial obstacles to make their business grow. And you were actually recognized last year. What type of award did you receive, Judy? So I received the Business Advocate of the Year Award, which I say I, but it really is my entire team. It's Bada yeah. and Day Spa, um, which is about celebrating um, what we were able to do through the spa um, for the community and, f and for specifically three different uh, nonprofits that we support. Mm -hmm. Um, we were able to do this through an event that we host annually, which is called Spotathon. Mm -hmm. It's actually coming up now in three weeks' time, okay. May 23rd. And uh, what we do at the event is we have about 350 people that attend. We have a silent auction. We have um, all of our 21 uh, spa rooms are actually transformed into little mini boutiques. Oh, wow. Where we have shopping and... Um, handbags and candles and little something for all everyone. different things that you can go shopping with we have a DJ we have many spa services so we do wet haircuts mm -hmm. and um, many manicures and um, the biggest money comes from our sponsorships and then also from the silent auction our goal this year is to raise uh, 35 to 40 thousand wow, dollars okay and uh, through this event we've able to give back we've been able to give back over hundred thirty thousand dollars in the goodness. last that's five incredible. years incredible so, absolutely incredible yeah, yes. that's got to feel so good and uh, you know being honored as I'm sure you've seen this is the sixth year now so yes. having so many honorees what have you seen and, and maybe what was your reaction when you were first uh, awarded and recognized for this what does that mean as a business owner I, I was thrilled um, because it brings awareness to the organizations that we really do work hard to support mm -hmm. and um, through the awareness is just more conversations and being able to make people really um, understand that giving back to this community can be done by anybody yeah, absolutely. and it's just starting something small and creating something to give back. And Amanda, let's talk about some of those nom uh, nominees this year. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure it was hard to kind of narrow it down, but uh, who are some of the nominees that we can expect? Well, we had 30 nominees this year, which is almost a record for us. Wow. And uh, the nominees, I'm going to go through the industry because there were so many. Okay. So we had a wide gamut this year. We had people that were in construction, retail trades, professional services technology and the size of the businesses was just a phenomenal so it was like three employees all the way up to 150 employees that these businesses have so really substantial as far as the growth of the event and then the recognition which we've actually been doing for the entire month of April for them as well okay and we're getting a look at some of those smiling faces right there some of those hard workers uh, what does the judging committee look for when choosing uh, these uh, honorees they're looking for people in the community have um, innovative mm -hmm. you know technology that's helped them either internally or externally they look at their story it's really based on the story I started here and I had these obstacles and I came up with a plan to overcome them and so they might have started off just in their you know their little home office mm -hmm. where now they have this huge industry that they're working on and it's in our community which is even better and a lot of those people like Judy does as an advocate yeah. they are reinvesting back into our community which is substantial for Southwest Florida it really makes an impact we're not just doing business we're all helping each other well we want to make sure our viewers can get involved and what can they do you've got this event coming up it's going to be Wednesday May 10th right yes that's correct so invite everybody out invite everybody out. Yeah. Okay, so join us at the Southwest Florida Performing Arts Center. Tickets are $75. That covers just our cost mm -hmm. for the table. We're planning on around 200 people who will be there, and it's going to be a great celebration. We'll have guest speakers. We're going to have fine dining, okay. dessert. It's just it's a like go-to event time. with the community. Yes, it is. It, what do they need to do to get their tickets? Do they go online? Can they get them at the door? Um, they can actually go online, which is the easiest one, and that's um, fsbdcswfl.org, okay. okay. or they can call our office at 745-3700. Great. The ladies, thank you so much. It's yes. a pleasure having you on the show, and we hope you, you join them out us. there. Yes, if you want to learn more, head online to our website. We're going to have this interview and information posted online to our website, fox4morningblend.com. 
Hey, do you have a business or organization that you'd like to see featured on the show? Let us know. We are all over social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.